Please log in the information requested. Access granted. Exclusive audio from 110sportspodcast.com. Todd Graham has been criticized for the way he left schools and how he just jumps at a chance for a slightly better one. But if we strip that away, is ASU getting a good coach in Graham? Uh, I, think they're getting the, I think they are getting a pretty good coach. You know, I, I don't know if they're getting... You look at what the guy he replaced, Dennis Erickson, who was a, you know, was a proven winner, but you had a guy who... You know, the discipline ultimately was a question mark with maybe not just the kids they brought in, but how they were handled. But now I think you have a guy who some of the things that he has said look really hypocritical now that all the Pittsburgh players are saying, hey, he said the exact same things to us a year ago and he he ran out the door. And I think when you look at the player, you know, recruits who followed him from Tulsa to Pittsburgh and now they're they're stuck there and if they want to leave they got to sit out a year. I think that, you know, that's going to be a challenge a little bit for for the Arizona State staff to recruit around. I think that the change in the Pac-12, the uh, the evolution maybe or, or the the change in the in the coaching structure now. I think it's going to be a little harder place to recruit to because of the dynamic now. There's a lot of uncertainty, but I think Rich Rodriguez and and uh, Todd Graham, obviously, guys work together at West Virginia. That's going to be a an interesting interesting dynamic to see how that works out. You have the new coaching staff at UCLA. You have Kiffin with scholarship restrictions, which is which is significant. But I think there's a this is a really curious time for the Pac-12. I think he. I think ASU got a good coach, but I think there's some significant concerns you have to have going forward. I, I don't know how anybody could look at that and go, that was a home run hire.